My previous Samsung Note tablet circa 2014 is very old. Not wanting to purchase a new tablet, I reformatted it hopefully to bring it back to life. But it's old and not useful for today's apps. About a year or more has passed before looking again at the tablet world. I rocked a Samsung Note 8 phone well past its use and recently upgraded to AS23. I absolutely love the S Pen and S Note. My new tablet had to be pin capable. Just using a pin is way different than pin features baked into the ecosystem of the device. Enter the S9 tablet family. I played around with the idea of getting by with one from the S8 family because of expense, but I like bells and whistles. I also intend to have this tablet for many years, so OS updating is important. I picked the Samsung S9 Plus. Amazon was offering it with 512 GB with 13% off, which was 30 bucks cheaper than the 256 GB version. I've played the available built-in storage game before. I'll be using this tablet for a variety of functions, so having the larger space for apps and all of my projects will be nice. Test. First, I charge to full capacity before turning it on. I then used Samsung's transfer tool and copied my apps from my S23 to the S9 Plus tablet. This worked without a hitch. Let those apps update. Update the OS under settings. S Pen, although they were creative with the magnetic back storage, I wished it was like the phone and my old tablet with the S Pen stored inside. The pen itself is pleasantly thicker than anticipated. Samsung made a good move in matching the color of both the pen and tablet. There's a lot of features to learn if you care to. The included S Notes is a beast of a program, but you can also use other programs like OneNote. The only thing with the form of this tablet is it is long horizontally. So when holding that way, it seems a bit long. I rather like the more square shape of my old tablet. There's a lot to learn about the features and YouTube is a great tutor. Even just now typing this out, one came to me with holding down the control key. It lights up the letters Y, A, Z, X, C, and V, which are shortcuts for specific functions. Very cool. It is pricey, but it is a premium feature tablet. You can get cheaper with going with lesser specs.